I made a video with that Jewish family sharing about Kabbalah and I completely forgot to share it. And today on the Jewish holiday of Lagba Omer, we celebrate the life of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. He wrote the Zohar, which is a foundational work of Kabbalah. So I'm finally going to share the video of that Jewish family explaining what Kabbalah is. There are different parts of the Torah. There is the Torah Shabbat which is the written part of the Torah. And then there's Torah Shabbat which is the oral part of the Torah, which nowadays is written down, you know, Talmud, Jewish law. And then there is the hidden part of the Torah, and that is Kabbalah and Chassidus. And that's the reasonings for every single commandment we do. You know, back in the day, they just did it blindly without understanding why they do the commandments. Today, we have Kabbalah and Chassidus, and now we know why we're doing it. The do, you, do you study Kabbalah? Because I actually never studied Kabbalah, and I know my dad has said it's something that you really wait until you're older and more understanding to study. Do you study it? So the Chabad Rabbeim instituted that everyone should be learning Hasidus, mm -hmm. which, is, which is Kabbalah, which is from the Zohar. And I do, I do study it every day. And what's something really cool that you've learned from Kabbalah? That the woman is so much higher than the man and the man has to strive to get to the level of 